Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at permutations with repetitions. So we have how many different seven letter arrangements can be written using the letters in the word balloon. So we start by analyzing the word balloon and there are seven letters in the word balloon. So now we're trying to count the number of seven letter arrangements. So let's for a second pretend that there are no repeats within the word balloon because we do have two L's and two O's but let's pretend we're counting seven letter arrangements where we have seven different letters so now there would be seven factorial ways to arrange seven different letters and this is true because if we chose the first letter remember we have seven letters to choose from so that's seven options for the first letter but now we would multiply by six because if we choose a letter now we have six letters to choose from so now we have six choices for the second option then we have five options for the third four for the fourth three for the fifth two for the sixth and then after we choose six letters there's only one left so we have one option for the last but since there are repetitions in the word balloon we do need to divide in order to account for the fact that there are repeats we'll explore more over here why we need to divide, but for now let's just solve this problem so we can see how to attack a problem of this type. Well since there are two L's we have to divide by two factorial because there are two factorial ways to arrange two L's. So on this side we're gonna write two times one because that is the definition of two factorial. It's just simply two times one. And now to account for the two repeating O's we need to divide by two factorial again because there are two factorial ways to arrange two O's. So we have another two times one. So now if we're simplifying this expression, or this equation I should say, we need to look at two times two and this four up here. Well we could simplify this because two times two equals four, so we could cross off two, two, and four, because two times two equals four, and then the common factors will just simply cancel out. So now if we're we want to find our answer, the number of seven letter arrangements using the letters in the word balloon, we have seven times six is 42, 42 times five is 210, 210 times three is 630, and 630 times two is 1260. So there are 1260 seven letter arrangements. But now let's explore a little bit more why we divided by two factorial, two factorial. Let's look at one random seven letter arrangements that use the letters in the word balloon. Let's say we went with some, I don't know, we'll say N, A, B, and we'll go with, so we went with N, A, B, double L, double O. I guess if we had to pronounce that, it would be in the blue or something wacky like that, but this is one arrangement of the word balloon. We take the letters and we take N-A-B-L-L-O-O. -O. But now, what, why we needed to divide? Let's explore this now. If we were only going to use 7 factorial to count this problem, the reason why we don't want to just use 7 factorial is because this would consider all of these letters to be different. So that means if we want to consider them all to be different, let's distinguish these two L's. We'll call this one L1 and we'll call this one L2. We'll call the first O, O1, and we'll call the second O, O2. So now this would be one arrangement of the word, I guess, in the blue, N-A-B-L-L-O-O. -O. If the letters were different, it would be N-A-B-L-1, L2, O1, O2. But now we would be able to rewrite this another way. We would be able to say N-A-B, L1, L2, and then we could say O2, O1. If we hide the numbers, this is the exact same arrangement of letters, but using 7 factorial, this would count these as two different arrangements. And then there would be another two using this N-A-B-L-L-O-O. -O. We would also have something like N-A-B, and then we swap the L1 and L2. Now we would have L2, L1, O1, O2. And if we did it again, we have one more, N-A-B. Oh wait, we got to write that L2, L1. So we have L2, L1, and now O2, O1. So for any single permutation or any single arrangement, if we did not divide by 2 factorial, 2 factorial, it would count 
each permutation four times. And that's exactly what happened here in the denominator. Notice there were two factorial ways to arrange the two L's. We could put the first L first, or we could put the second L first. But we're also pairing that with the fact that there are two repeating O's. So there are two factorial ways to arrange the O's. So now when we combine those together, there were two times two. There were four ways to arrange any single permutation. So that's why we divided by two factorial, two factorial. Because what it did was, it says, all right, well, if I take four divided by four, I get one. So what it does is it just takes out three of those so that we only count one and we don't have any repeats. So once again, our answer to this problem, we have 1,267 letter arrangements using the letters in the word balloon. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this permutation with repetitions problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.